Kim, what's on your radar? Well, last week, the Chancellor of Austria put unvaccinated people under lockdown. We talked about that here on the show. Uh, people who have not yet received the vaccine have only been allowed to go to work or do essential things like get groceries. Otherwise, they had to stay home. Now, the country has taken it a step further and has put everyone under lockdown, regardless of their vaccination status, and has issued a nationwide mandate for everyone over 12 to get the vaccine by February. Austria is the first country to go this extreme. Other countries like the U.S. and Italy have implemented vaccine mandates for certain cohorts of the population. But Austria marks the first time a government has issued a mandate for all its citizens. During the press conference, the chancellor announced, quote, for a long time, perhaps too long, I and others assumed it would be possible to persuade people in Austria to voluntarily get vaccinated, that we could persuade them for their own protection and for the protection of those around them, their loved ones, friends and co-workers. But we must confront reality, he said. Yikes. Basically, he's saying they gave the people an illusion of choice, but when they didn't do what they were supposed to do voluntarily, they're now going to be forced into it. This quote kind of reminds me of the saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. People in Austria didn't take too well to this. Protests have erupted all throughout the weekend with tens of thousands of people taking to the streets. In fact, all throughout Europe, hundreds of thousands of people continue to protest the various mandates being imposed. Germany is also considering mandatory vaccinations for all citizens and warned that by the end of winter, everyone will be either jabbed, cured or dead because the virus is spreading so quickly in the nation. The U.S. State Department has issued level four travel warnings urging Americans not to travel to Germany or Denmark due to a surge in cases in the two countries who were once hailed for their COVID response. Restrictions are just being piled on all around Europe, from full lockdowns in Austria to partial lockdowns in the Netherlands to restrictions for the unvaccinated in Germany and in the Czech Republic to vaccine passports in France and Italy to mask mandates in Spain and Poland to work from home orders in Ireland. Yet the virus rages on. And what happens in Europe usually happens about a month later here in the United States. So we can all expect that right around Christmas and New Year's, parts of the country are going to be talking about lockdowns and beefing up restrictions. Winter is coming. Don't shoot the messenger. Down under in New Zealand and Australia, the two nations are hitting summer when the virus is expected to wane. Nonetheless, they've also taken some pretty harsh measures. New Zealand's prime minister has admitted to creating two classes of people in the vaccinated and unvaccinated in a bid to forcibly motivate people to get the vaccine. In parts of Australia, there's now camps where they cart COVID positive people and their close contacts away against their will to be quarantined in isolation from society. Now, this is what China did at the beginning of the pandemic. If you remember the people in bubble suits forcibly throwing people into vans, we all watched in utter disbelief and thanked our lucky stars we live in the free West, or at least we thought. Now, all of these measures from lockdowns to passports and mandates and now camps, these are all in an attempt to stop the spread. But the virus isn't stopping. Nothing has stopped it from spreading. Every single nation that has once been revered as the shining example of how to beat the virus has eventually been hit. Singapore, Iceland, Germany, and Denmark, no one is being spared. And all of these measures that continually infringe on the rights of the people only backfire with the wave of anger that we're already witnessing in Europe. Where that anger will lead when people have had every ounce of their autonomy taken from them and the virus is still with us, I think politicians should stop and think long and hard about that. The fact is, the vaccines are working as they were intended. They are helping, for a period of time, prevent the most severe outcomes for those who are the most vulnerable, people over the age of 65. As experts, included, as experts, including Fauci, have noted, they wear off against severe disease, so you can't count on them forever. Maybe you're going to be needing some booster shots. But they have brought us some time to develop medications, and that, should have been, and, and that time also should have been used to test existing medications uh, that will help prevent COVID from progressing into a severe disease. If we can prevent severe disease, that should be the goal. Pandemic over. The only goal at this stage, after every failed attempt to eradicate the virus by stopping the spread, is to focus on outcomes. And the irony is, in Austria and Germany and all of these countries that are reeling back into restrictions, their death rates are actually much lower than they were last winter. They have vaccinated their most vulnerable and it's working, but they still seem fixated on stopping the spread. And this fixation on eliminating COVID has caused, in my opinion, political leaders to panic and greatly overstep their bounds. 
the consequences of this massive government overreach will be felt sooner than later when one by one, people who believed that these restrictions, mandates and efforts were the way out, see that they aren't. The goal should be obvious at this point. Do what we can to do what we can to prevent severe disease in those who are the most at risk of terrible outcomes. Most people are not at risk. Maybe we should leave those people alone and instead focus on the people who are at highest risk. So I hate to break it to you guys, but I do think lockdowns and restrictions are possibly coming to the United States. We have always been one month behind Europe. And, you know, look, if we do not shift our focus to just outcomes, hospitalizations, deaths, we've got pills coming out from Pfizer, pills from Merck. We've got other pills that, you know, some doctors claim work. So you, look, it, it, pandemic over at this point. If we can just keep people out of the hospital, we're all going to get COVID, pandemic over. I don't know any other way to do this anymore. Uh, what do you guys think? We should refuse to follow restrictions if they can. People need to stop obeying. Stop obeying. They, or punish political figures who who propose or who implement these things. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I completely agree with you, Kim. It, it's and, and in my radar, I talked about how today uh, how. Uh, go government, uh, clumsy government efforts to, you know, keep people safe. They stick around forever. I talked about the TSA, which just turned 20, oh, yeah. 20th anniversary of the TSA. Its 20th birthday was last week. We, you know, this was supposed to be a temporary new measure, you know, to deal with this threat of terrorism. We still take off our shoes, our belts. We still do these completely pointless things that everyone knows don't keep us, don't make us any safer. And we're still doing that two decades later. What I, I am, I am terrified. Like what COVID stuff will we still be doing 20 years from now that doesn't matter at all? But the government just kind of has a policy that, yeah, this is what you have to do. It's for your you know, that, that's really scary because th we do see new viruses regularly. You know, we have new yeah. iterations of influenza like every three years. I mean, I, I, yeah, you make a great point. What if every three years we go into lockdown because a new, you know, every every time they get a new virus that comes around, H1N1 or whatever it is, they're like, oh, my gosh, it could be, you know, the next uh, influenza pandemic of, you know, uh, the Spanish flu. Here it comes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and to, and to me, I, th I think about this some, somewhat more pragmatically than, a, than in principle in the sense that pragmatically uh, tr lock, locking down and doing like these Austrian style things just don't, don't necessarily work. Mm -hmm. So if, if something doesn't work, then you don't even need to ask the question of the, of the principle to begin with. Right. <laughs> right. Like, right. 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 Because like, yeah, it's like why, why like do, why like brush up against your principles in order to do something that's not giving you a right. We're not really trying to decide outcome. what right. is this sacrifice worth it for trade off for our liberty and life. <laughs> right. These right. things aren't really making a difference. So right. stop doing them. In order for there to be a trade off, right. you have to get something right out of the trade. Yeah. To, and the thing is, is that it. things are working. I mean, look, the vaccine is working in keeping the, the most fragile, those who are most vulnerable, keeping them out of the hospital for a period of time. Yes, it wears off. But uh, people that are already at that point in life probably don't mind taking a booster every six months or so if they need to. They're already very frail. They're already taking fistfuls of medication right. uh, on a regular basis. So, you know, look, things are working. We've got pills coming out from Pfizer. They say that this is going to result in uh, very low death rates and hospitalizations. So what are we doing anymore? You know, at this point, like it's working. The death rates are low. The death rates are low in most of these places. Yes, if they haven't given out the boosters, then they start to go back up. But we know what to do with that. So why are we doing this? Why are we locking down, p forcing people to wear masks, lock down, yeah. unvaccinated can do this? And, you know, I mean, it just seems insane to me at this point. We're, we're, there chasing, is something that's chasing, the, we're chasing the fantasy of COVID zero. Never that's what it there. is. That's <laughs> yeah. what it is. And that's well, we'll, very frightening. Well, we'll be back with more Rising uh, right after this. Please stay with us.